in this lesson we are going to solve a problem on simple pendulum this is an inclined plane this angle is theta and there is a cart car with a t c a r t that is sliding down without friction and inside the cart we have a simple pendulum we want to find out the time period of the pendulum for small oscillations so this this cart is sliding down without friction it will have an acceleration g sin theta in this direction this is the acceleration vector of the cart and this direction we can call it x axis perpendicular to this we can call it y axis you want we can call that y axis we can call this as well just we are interested in the direction so therefore this becomes g sin theta i cap this pendulum is acted upon by g acceleration due to gravity that will be in this direction this acceleration also we can resolve this g we can resolve into two component here g sin theta i cap because that is the x axis and here g cos theta j cap because we have called that as the y axis therefore g becomes equal to g sin theta i cap plus g cos theta j cap and the acceleration of the vehicle becomes g sin theta i cap therefore the g effective will be g vector minus a vector and if we subtract these two g sin theta i cap will cancel out only thing left is g cos theta j cap therefore the magnitude of g effective is g cos theta in that direction and this is g effective time period of a simple pendulum is given by 2 pi root over l by g effective g effective is g cos theta so 2 pi root over l by g cos theta is the answer